Hello traders, FS Pepcolati here. Today is Wednesday, August 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the DXY and the US dollar index starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the DXY monthly, I still think this is the end of a crescent, which would tell me that anything I see to the upside is still going to be a crescent to the downtrend, and eventually, I still believe this is going to end up continuing the downtrend, making lower lows and lower highs. So let's take a look at it on the weekly switch back to the US dollar index on the weekly time frame I still think this is a downtrend right here probably a one I still think this is like an A B C D E all part of a wave two we are sitting at the 38% fib right now but I think it's gonna break out of this area take out all these highs probably go up to at least a 50% before we really do get that move to the downside which should be a big wave three so let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame is where you can start to see the higher highs, higher lows, and we definitely do have five waves here. But the way this fifth wave is stretching out, I actually think that this may be making more waves to the upside. I don't think this fifth wave is the final wave. We'll have to see if it does actually hold this 38%, but I'm starting to think that it will break out and it will go up to that 50% fib like I was showing on the higher time frames. So taking it down to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, it's a little easier to see on the one hour, but this is what I think is a WXY pattern. That right there was the end of a crescent. We had a higher low, higher low. As you can see, price is still going up, and I think there's a good chance that we'll continue the uptrend. I definitely think, at least until we get a good clear break of starts to the downside, that we need to continue to look for longs in an uptrend on the shorter time frames. So taking it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame is where you can see what I think is one, two, three waves down, one, two, three waves up, one, two, three waves down. WXY triple zigzag. Looks like impulsive up, looks like corrective down. Probably a one, probably a two, and we're most likely in a wave three right now, which if that's the case, it most likely will continue to make higher highs, higher lows, and telling me that we probably have a lot of upside potential still, so we could definitely still be continuing to look for longs at the end of any pullbacks that we may see. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.